This is question five on the higher calculator paper. So let's just read the question carefully first. The question has a diagram up here and it says A, B, C. A, B and C are three service stations on a motorway. A, B is 25 miles and B, C is 25 miles. And I can see that information being put on the diagram above. Aisha drives along the motorway from A to C. Aisha drives at an average speed of 50 miles an hour from A to B and she drives at an average speed of 60 miles per hour from B to C. Work out the difference in the time Aisha takes to drive from A to B and the time Aisha takes to drive from B to C. So the information I have, I'm going to put some stuff on the diagram above there. I know that from A to B she takes 50 minutes. Oh no, she drives at 50 miles per hour and from B to C she drives at 60 miles per hour okay now I know from this that I need to use the speed equation speed distance time equation and I said before I say to people that miles per hour miles per hour gives you an idea of the formula for speed so speed is equal to Miles per hour means miles out of hours, right? Miles is a distance, hours is a time. So you could remember the speed, distance, time like that. Speed, speed is equal to distance over time. But I know in science, most people remember it using the triangle. And that's pretty useful, especially in questions like this. Yeah, Speed is equal to distance over time. Okay, they split it up like so. Yeah, and by covering up any of the letters, you can use the remaining formula to help you work out the thing that you want to find. And in this case, we want to find the time, first of all, the time from A to B. And then we're going to work out the time it takes to go from B to C. Now, because it's time we want to work out, we're going to cover up the T in here and that means distance divided by speed distance divided by speed so to get from A to B the distance is 25 miles and the speed is 50 miles per hour so it's 25 divided by 50 and again I'm using the same thing because it's time that I want to work out from B to C the distance is 25 and the speed is 60 so that's going to be 25 divided by 60 I'm going to use my calculator to work this out. So let's have a look. 25 divided by 50, that's equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.5. But remember here, the speed was miles per hour. So that's 0 0.5 hours. And I'm going back to the question. The question says, give your answer in minutes. So 0 0.5 hours, if I want to change that into minutes, 0.5 times it by the 60 minutes in an hour and that's going to give me 30 30 minutes okay so that's 30 minutes I'm going to work out the, the amount of time now from B to C so B to C that's 25 divided by 60 and that's equal to 0.4166666 0.41666 that carries on hours and again I want to work out how much that is in minutes so I'm going to times that by 60 and that gives me 25 25 minutes so just let's read the question again so we can remember what they want us to find work out the difference in the time Aisha takes to drive from A to B to the time that Aisha drives uh, takes to drive from B to C. So the difference in the times is going to be 30 minutes take away 25 minutes. Okay, so 30 minutes take away 25 minutes and that's going to give me 5 minutes. And I'm going to write that in my answer space down at the bottom and that's five minutes. Now, this is a pretty straightforward question. I've written every stage of it, 
right, going through. What you need to know to answer this question is the speed distance time equation, right? You need to make sure you remember that, and that, that that's something that you could use and apply relatively easily. Okay.